bush country, learning to skin the beaver. One was called Pocahontas, and the other one was called Geranolone. I love being able to say, I've actually written the book on native sex. If you go by the dominant culture's media, the only time anything to do with native sexuality is mentioned is either abuse from residential schools, dead hookers, or high rates of STDs in native communities. And while these are unfortunately existent in our communities, it's by no means the only representation we have. So I decided to put together a book exploring deconstructing and celebrating Aboriginal sexuality. Thus the book Me Sexy. If you believe what you read, we were a sad, sad people. But experiences taught me that this is not the case. So I decided that part of my journey in life would be to show the public how wonderfully developed, highly refined and downright hilarious our sense of humor really is. There's humor in everything. And to write something without humor, I think, is being very unnative. Because I've traveled to over 130 native communities in Canada and the United States. And everywhere I've gone, I've been greeted with a laugh, a smile, and a joke. These two Indians walk out of a bar. Hey, it could happen. Uh, <laughs> I've got a reputation as a humorist, but I don't consider myself a, a, a real humorist. Because when, when my uncles and my aunts get together, I'm still, I'm such the... The amateur. And I'm thinking, okay, me funny, me sexy. I think I've written myself into a corner because, like, where do you go after a good belly laugh and sex? You're like, me gardening? <laughs> me macrame? 